Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. I'm Kevin, and it's time again for our daily pocket dump deconstruction. What you see on your screen right now, that's what I'm carrying today. That's my EDC. I just took that picture, posted it on Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken, if you'd like to join the feed. <laughs> Turned my iPhone 6S Plus to video now it's time for the YouTube channel and it's time for all of us to deconstruct this thing and play with a bunch of knives and I do have some fun knives to play with it is Sunday April 10th 2016 I know all of you aren't watching it it's Sunday April 10th 2016 but I do that because we do this every single day every single day every single day and we're going to continue to do it thank you very much for all of you guys encouragement i'm behind on responding to comments but i will get those done uh i hope all of you are having a wonderful day in the east it's still cold even though it's april 10th <laughs> so let's talk about the deconstruction of this right here um, today is Sunday, so I have plenty of time to pretend like Monday's not coming. <laughs> and I'm going to smoke my Cuban cigars of huge Cueva. Oh, man. Nice Cuban taste. Ah, can't wait. A um, lot of vodka. A lot of vodka with that one. Oh, I can't wait. Anyway, I'm going to celebrate all through the day with that monster. The watch is one of my regular rotation. It's the Concord Impresario. I love this chronograph. I really do. It's classy. Nice heft to it. Love it. The coin today, I'm going to go through uh, the, the U.S. Mint over the past, I don't know, six months to a year, released several uh, presidential uh, memorial coins and uh i'm silver coins and so this is my second one yesterday i did eisenhower today it is president johnson um that's my lucky one ounce silver coin always keep a silver coin in my pocket my grandfather did and uh that is one thing i really remember among his other things like a love of knives and guns i really love knives today ah, the liquor carry is absolute vodka absolute 100 vodka oh i love it um anyway let's finish this so i can get into that <laughs> and take a nap <laughs> oh man one of my uh coach wallets uh, I have a wonderful field guides. I love the field guides that have different shades. This is one of the green field guides, and uh, I love it because they have dark, darker, darkest. <laughs> this is the lightest of the two field guides. I love field guides. They're just simple, nice notepads. Now let's talk about, ah, let's clear some of this. Ah, we'll keep it in there for a little bit. Uh, yes, we're going to have some knives here that didn't make the cut. So let's talk about the lives, uh, the knives, not the lies. I'm not going to lie to you, I promise, not intentionally. Um, this is the Spydeco Rody. This is my keychain knife. It's just a wonderful little knife. It is a slip joint knife. Spydeco and other knife makers got the word from the FAA that they were going to allow some knives back on to planes after 9-11. They said they had to be slip joints. That means non-locking knives. The blade had to be under three inches. <laughs> this blade happens to be a 2.99 inch blade. <laughs> Spidico stretching it as much as they could. Um, and they could not be a one hand opening knife. And as you see, what Spidico did was their hole is just a branding thing, is not functional. And then they did two dimples right here on the head 
of the blade so that you just pinch and open. Really nice. Instead of that nail nick, I usually <laughs> don't cut my fingernails as often as I should. Um, but you know those old-fashioned nail nicks where you need your uh, fingernail? So this is a really nice, ni nice knife. Comes in five different colors, orange, red, blue, gray, and black. FRN scales. FRN is a Spydeco's um, fiberglass reinforced nylon. It's just a wonderful plastic kind of material. I love these. Because of the colors, they really make nice keychain knives. No one gets afraid of them, plus you can coordinate them and all that kind of stuff. I have all five of them. I really like this. This is the Spydeco Rhodey. Real nice knife. Uh, the blade still is that N690 uh, steel. I'm not a steel freak. Uh, some of you are. I don't know that steel. Um, but anyway, it's a really nice, nice keychain knife. My medium carry has a, a knife that got away and then got me playing with some automatic out the fronts. And that's what we'll talk about after we're done with this. This is one of the two of my favorite Ultratech out the front automatics. I have a bunch of those knives. In fact, you're watching the Keith Kevin Ken uh, YouTube channel right now. Check out the videos. I have over 70 videos now. One of them is a out the front automatic Microtech collection video. I believe there's 11 or 12 out the fronts and we talk about each and every, I talk about each and every one of them. This one right here is a Microtech Trudon. The knife that got away we'll get to later but I usually either do the Tradon or the knife that got away as my EDC carry because it's just a perfect, perfect size. It really, really is. I really like this Tradon. It is three inch blade, which is perfect. This one happens to be Tanto and I love Tanto blades. As you guys probably can tell if you watch my last two deconstructions, my last two carries, I just love Tanto blades. When I get a chance, I grab it. Elmac Steel, all of my uh, out the fronts are Elmac Steel. That's what I've been saying. I just found out today, and I'll be playing with one of them, that one of them is not. One of them actually has 690 steel, just like that roadie. <laughs> Surprised me today, <laughs> since I've been talking about it as if it had Elmac steel. Anyway, this does. It's a really nice aluminum, of course. It has that traction like the Trudon does right there. That gives you a little traction. I really love my Microtech knives. I don't have the other automatics. I don't have the manual uh, Microtechs. I only have the out the front. I need to try a couple of the other ones as well. Every now and then I get ready to pull the trigger, but I'm on like Blade HQ and I, I have a bunch of other knives in the cart that I can't afford either. So I never do that, but I'm gonna have to start going into that because Microtech, at least for their out the front fronts, they're just wonderful. Has the glass breaker, uh, which is just great. The clip, which I really like, no hot points. And of course, the Tradon, the small Tradon, oh, it just goes out like crazy. Now, I've been playing with some out the fronts. So later, when we talk about the knives that got away and the knives that I played with this morning, I'm going to look wimpy. This is a wimpy warning, okay? <laughs> because some of them are kind of tough. I keep saying out the front automatics. And what that means is just what it says. The blade comes out the front. This is uh, uh, out the front that goes both ways. You put it in, I mean, you push it in, it goes out, springs out, and then you can pull it back. It's a wonderful double action out the front from Microtech. That's the Trudon, wonderful three inch blade, just a perfect EDC. I have another out the front automatic 
that was the knife that got away that is perfect as well. It's just a little bit smaller than the Trudon. No, actually, it's a little bit bigger than the Trudon, but both of them just perfect. And then it's Sunday, so I want it to be a little classy. That's my play knife. I always have a knife that's either a flipper or automatic or something. Uh, that is just my play knife. I can't wait uh, to play with that. And this, my friends, is just a wonderful knife. It really is. You know, I, I, yesterday I talked about the Tanto blades coming from Chris Reeve, all of them being exclusive to True North knives. So if you're going to get a Chris Reeve, any Chris Reeve knife that has a Tanto blade, then you have to go to True North Knives to get them new. It's an exclusive. Well, this is also a Chris Reeve exclusive from True North Knives. Oh, it's a wonderful one, too. Full dress, isn't it? It's a large Sabenza 21, has a 3.5-inch blade, and look at that blade. Devin Thomas Spirograph Damascus Blade. Oh, man, it's just beautiful. I love Damascus. I really do. I really love Damascus. Anyway, uh, and, and Devin Thomas does a great job. That is the Spirograph Damascus Blade. I went to True North to get information, and I've been looking at knives because I'm broke and have to pay taxes. <laughs> so to kind of cheer me up, I did some window shopping online for knives. Yeah, I've got it bad. I've got the disease real bad. And I found some new knives on True North Knives. And when I get money, I'm going shopping again. It's a real nice place. Of course, it's, this isn't sponsored by True North Knives. Of course not. I think I sponsor them. But anyway, this is really wonderful. It's part of what they call their TNK flag exclusive, their True North Knife flag exclusive. Um, oh, man, it's just wonderful. There's Old Glory right there. Polished titanium scales on this uh, Chris Reeve Sabenza 21. Ah. <sighs> Of course, it has the Chris Reeve lock, oh, integral lock. Oh, of course, it's as smooth as silk. Every time I open it up, it just gets smoother. The tolerances on these knives are just perfect. This is, <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop talking about how perfect it is, but it is perfect, and it's beautiful. Very patriotic, but also just flashy as hell. <laughs> I'm going to be meeting with uh, some friends and I wanted something that I could pull out and just show off. You think this will be enough to show off in front of friends? Ah, oh, with that Devin Thomas Spirograph Damascus, is that beautiful or what? That's a nice knife. Ah, oh, True North, I'm coming to you. After I get over paying for taxes, I'm coming to you for more knives because I saw some of those newer ones you got up there. That's it, folks. That's the carry. That right there, what you're looking at right there, is what made up my Instagram picture today. It was the Rody from Spyderco, the Microtech um, Trudone, the Out the Front Automatic, the Double Action Out the Front Automatic, and of course, that's the True North Knife flag exclusive right there from Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chris Reeves with that Devin Thomas Spirograph Damascus. There you have it. That made up my Instagram picture. That is today's carry. But you want to know something? This ain't Instagram. No, it's not. And when I talked about the fact that every time I go in to get one of my automatics for a carry, these are the two knives that I like the most. Every single time I have to make a choice. And lately I've been making the choice and picking up this. This is the Microtech UTX 85. 
it was the newest one. Oh, it's just butter in and out. If you ever use the Microtech, whether it's an Ultratech or any of the other out the fronts, some of them get stiff. Some of them do. You can always push it out, but sometimes it takes two hands to bring them in, and that's fine. They will loosen up over time. But these two are just butter, especially this UTX-85. It is just a wonderful knife. And then, of course, the Tradone. Oh, usually I've been picking up the UTX-85. Folks, this is a beautiful knife. The real difference, it, it's a little bit bigger blade, believe it or not, uh, but the handle is a little bit small, ah, a little bit bigger, about the same. It's the newer, it has a newer hardware, it has those triangles for the screws. This, of course, is a lot smoother than this. This has this grip, this doesn't have the grip, but let me tell you, they're so thin, you have a grip to do what you need to do with them. Um, it has the new button to fire out the blades. It's a little bit bigger. The traction is a little bit different. They both have the traction on the side. That pretty much is on every out the front from Microtech. And the glass breaker, this one is just made of steel with that uh, that point on it i believe it's steel i'm not sure what it's made of but with a point sometimes when you go in your pocket uh, sometimes for me at least i will graze that and go ouch microtech solved that with the newer one it's like a ball bearing there it's smooth but can still do the hurt that needs to be done for on that glass so I like that. It's just a newer version. Oh, man. Those are the two that I usually carry when I want an uh, EDC out the front. Of course, like I told you, I have about 11 Microtech automatics. So, of course, <laughs> once I get into that case, once I get into that Pelican 1550 case, it has... My out the fronts, oh, in fact, these out the fronts, the 11 out the fronts, I pack my cases pretty tight. I make sure the knives aren't rubbing, but they're pretty tight. See, look at that. This is one of them. Oh. Um, I just start clicking away. By the way, that Pelican case 1550 is the same Pelican case that holds my 50 um, Chris Reeve knives. And that's the case I'm going to open up once we uh, reach 500 um, subscribers. We're getting close, folks. So thank you very much if you've already hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, now's a great time. Once we do, we're going to lift up that case. It has a lot of goodies. It has all of the Ultratech, um, I mean, the, all of the Microtech out the front automatics. It has all the Chris Reeves and it has all of my newer Spydacos in that case. So there's a lot of knives. This right here got away because once I went in and decided that I was going to go with the Tridone and then I started eh, hedging <laughs> with the UTX-85, of course, I started playing with everything. I started saying, well, if I can't make up this decision... Maybe this Ultra Tech would be a great big knife um, instead of the Chris Reeve knife since I carried Chris Reeve just yesterday. But you know what? I start playing with it and loving it and playing with the uh, Ultra Techs. I decide to go with the Chris Reeve. This is wonderful. I love that olive. Of course, the Ultra Tech is the best selling out the front coming from uh, Microtech. It's just wonderful. I have three of them. Uh, this is, of course, there you go. There's my Tanto. I was thinking about getting that one, Elmax Steel. And then once I played with all the knives, I, you know what? I decided to play with some beasts. And then I decided I'm going to share the beast with you guys briefly today. <laughs> because the beasts don't get carried enough. And so usually I'm just sitting here and I have the beasts on my desk. This right here, does it look a little familiar to you? 
Well, this is the Tridome. This is what, see, now that I've been playing with him, my thumb is tired. Old man thumb tired. Uh, this is the Tridome that I talked about that I am carrying today with that three inch blade. Well, here's the daddy. This is the combat Tridome. Yes, that's why I got it in camouflage. Of course, just like all the Microtechs, they come in all kinds of different colors. Everything from orange to red to blue to this. Oh, man, what a beast. Combat with that dagger blade. That blade is 3.8 inches. So there's a 3-inch Tridone that I'm going to carry. And here's the daddy. The Combat Tridone. Oh, it has all the same shapes. It's just big, big, beefy 3.8 inch knife. Yes, I, these are not knives that got away. These are knives I've been playing with all Sunday morning <laughs> because they're big. And I won't get a chance on a deconstruction to show these off. And by the way, I do have my entire collection of video of all my out the fronts from Microtech. Uh, it is up. You can take a look at it. <sighs> I started playing with my beasts. I love these. And yes, Wimp Factor is in. <laughs> Two hands and still some strength. This right here, my friends, is the Makara 2. By the way, the Tridone, it is LMAX. Everything else is LMAX except for this last knife that I'm going to show you. This is the Makara 2. It's just a wonderful beast. 4.5 inch blade. The total overall size is 10.5. It's a nice thin blade. It has carbon fiber inlays. Look at that wicked blade. <laughs> Serrated end on one side, straight end on the other. And that point, it can do some damage. This is a big beast of a knife. What I like about it, though, is it's also classy. Isn't that beautiful, classy knife? Oh, I just want to show you some of the big ones. And if I'm going to show you some big knives, have to. Wait, wait, wait. Did you hear that? Hold on, hold on. Listen. Yes. Hello. That, my friends, is the Halo 5. It's a beast of a knife. 4.6 inch blade. This I thought was LMAX Steel because whenever I got it from Blade HQ and whenever I look it up to remind me about all the dimensions, I pull up a Halo 5 and it always says LMAX on it as a steel, so I didn't look. But the great thing about all Microtechs, they put the steel and what kind of blade and everything right on the blade. And I finally looked at it today. It's 690 steel. This one is 690 steel. I've always told you that the Microtex, you can get all kinds of steel. I've seen D2, I've seen S35 VN, but this happens to be uh, 690 steel, but what a beast. Combo blade, also Tanto blade, it just has a little bit of everything. I told you about double action out the fronts. This is obviously one of Microtech's biggest out the fronts. It's 10.75 inches total but this is a not double action just one action which means the button puts out the blade then you have to cock it see me cocking it pull it back in put that back in and it's ready to fire again oh what a beast of a knife that my friends is what i've been playing with all day all day, so I want to share that with you. I told you, these daily deconstructions, we talk about the current EDC, we talk about the knives I'm carrying, we talk about the other stuff I'm carrying, but we also talk about the thought process that got me to here for my carry. And part of this thought process was playing with my automatics, what beasts. If you wanna see the entire collection, it's up there on uh, YouTube right here on the YouTube channel, check it out. You can see all of the deconstructions. There's over, I don't know, uh, 60 daily deconstructions with a bunch of knives in them. Check out the playlist. Thumb it up, keep the 
encouragement. That's why I do this every single, single morning because I know you guys are out there and I love talking to you about knives. Hit that subscribe button. Once we hit 500, we're opening up the cases and playing with all kinds of knives, including these and all the Chris Reeve knives as well. Hey, you guys, thank you very much for giving me your time. You have a perfect, 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 perfect day. And keep those pockets full, won't you? Goodbye.